Hey guys, Cardello from Cardello.tk here. Today's topic is friction welding as per a request on Facebook. So what is friction welding, you might ask? Simply put, you put a, uh, a little piece of filament in a Dremel and you spin it up and feed it into a crack in your printed part. It's uh, kind of like actual stick welding, but with plastic. So friction welding lets you connect or reinforce parts instantly with the same strength as normal printed parts. Uh, you've probably got some filament in the same color as the print that, you, that you're trying to connect left over. So you can, uh, you can perfectly match the color of the print, unlike epoxies or glues where you could get some discoloration or some, uh, some other color from the glue. Uh, best of all, it's also free, and you don't have to wait for the glue to set. So it's, it's an instant bond. So friction welding is great for, for those people that have a smaller printer like me. So if you want to print something large, you have to do it in a whole bunch of different sections. This Iron Man helmet I'm working on started off as three parts, and now it's solid as if I printed it all in one go. So as a technical note, it seems like most desktop 3D printers use 1.75 millimeter filament these days, while standard Dremel collets, the little piece that holds your, your tool, are one eighth of an inch or 3.175 millimeters. If you, like me, have 1.75 millimeter filament, you can find an appropriate collet replacement for about $3.50 at a local hardware store. If you're running three millimeter filament, you're probably good to go. Well, that about does it for this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Other than that, please uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna see more, and uh, click on the other videos here. Ooh, ah, have a good day.